About a year and a half ago, I made a video regarding Verkada mounts and it proved to be one of the most popular ones and I understand why. Um, often overlooked, the mounts are actually a very important part of any successful CCTV deployment. So if you're now looking at Verkada as a new technology that you're trying to implement, I'm hoping that this video will help you in deciding what mounts fit to your cameras. But before we start, I wanted to ask you a question. In this picture that you see here, that is by the way taken from the accessories guide in which I'll publish a link down below, how many mounts can you actually see? Okay, if you said three, you are correct because this fisheye hangs on a pendant cap that's screwed in into an R mount that in itself is screwed in into a corner mount. Now that this question is over, let's discuss which are the critical mounts that you always, always have to order no matter what. The reason for that is that even if you end up not using them, it is much easier to return them as you have a 30 day period than stalling your project or going back later and trying to fix it after waiting for the mounts to be ordered and delivered. And the first such critical mount is the angle mount for the fisheye in case you're looking to put it on the wall as opposed to a ceiling in what's called the 180 mode. I'm going to refer back to one of the cameras we have in our headquarters in San Mateo, which you'll see that it looks like it's about to fall down. And there is a clear reason why we actually use an angle mount for it to look like that, because if we weren't using it, then most likely what we'll see is the block of flats, the sky, but not what's the most important, which is what's happening below at the edge of our property. Don't be fooled. Even if you're deploying this camera at head high, which is not really per best practices because you don't really want them to be reachable. You don't want people to mess around with them, hit them, spray paint them, etc. But even then, you will still be looking at an angle mount for the best amount of visibility. The second most important mount, a must-have mount, is the square junction box for the bullet. Now, with the older series of bullets, you had to take your own cable, connect it inside the bullet, then seal the whole camera. However, with the new bullets, we moved away from that design, and each of those cameras will actually have a pigtail cable with a connector at the end that will actually allow you to link your existing infrastructure and then sealing it from rain. Now, as you can imagine, with this pigtail cable hanging out, in case you're mounting this on a solid wall and you can't really run the cable into the wall, you're in trouble because there is no space for those cables to connect. And this is where, again, the junction box is extremely useful when it comes to bullets. And hopefully this might sound obvious, but if you're looking to mount cameras on poles or in corners, then you definitely need to consider a pole mount or a corner mount. Most of our cameras can actually be screwed in directly in these mounts. However, if you have a multi-sensor or if you have a PTZ camera, well, they're supposed to hang down. And this is impossible without an arm mount. So don't forget to order it and do make sure to check it because we do have an extra large arm mount that is built specifically for the PTZ in order to withstand its weight. Now, as per best practice, it is always important to have the camera as close as possible to the thing you are surveying. Think about you're in a warehouse. The ceilings are very high. And yes, sure, you can mount the camera there, maybe try to zoom it in, losing some of that wide angle. But if you don't do that, then you end up in a situation when you're not able to grasp details at the distance. So how do you lower those cameras? Well, you get a pendant cap, you go to your local DIY store, you purchase a pipe and you run the cable through it. This document is fantastic because not only you will see the size of the mounts, but also the threads of those pipes that you need to purchase. In addition, pendant caps are very, very useful when you're using arm mounts. Remember, the arm mount does not come with a pendant, so don't be stuck in a situation where you have the arm mount, you have the camera, and you have actually no idea how they screw in together. But what are the other uses of these arm mounts? 
Well, in case you're deploying domes in outdoor scenarios, you most likely want them to point down. A dome that is just fixed on the wall will actually attract water. The water would stay on it, will dry, will mix up with the dust, and over time, it will need to be cleaned. If not, especially at night, you'll see those IR illuminators bouncing back on the debris, and you can't really make much of what's actually in front of the camera. So as best practice, if you're not able to use a bullet, outdoors which is usually sheltered from rain from snow and from dust and you want to go on a dome option then do make sure you point the camera down either by using an arm mount or if you want to make your life easier using an l bracket we had l brackets ever since i joined almost four years ago however since then we also designed the new camera weather shield that will actually allow you to protect these domes or fish eyes if you put them straight on the wall as our presence in retail has grown over the past few years we also had to go back to the drawing board and design recessed mounts for both the domes and minis and that is because some of our high-end customers really want to hide most of that camera in within their fake ceilings saying that don't just feel like you will need to get these mounts I know they sound nice and they're very, very useful for those sort of cases. But remember, pushing most of the camera in within a ceiling means that the troubleshooting LEDs are no longer visible. And talking about ceilings and specifically tiles on the ceilings, back in the old day, installers had to devise clever things to hang cameras off them, including having pieces of wood on the back of it and kind of drilling the cameras through the particular ceiling. However, now we also have tile mounting clips that will allow you to hang these cameras by using the rails in between those tiles. Before I wrap this video, I also wanted to emphasize that recently we have announced a new generation of cameras starting with the CF83 Fisheye and I'll make sure I'll uh, leave a link to the video in case you want to check this out and that meant we had to redesign a lot of the original mounts. The angle mount, pendant cap, and L bracket. So do make sure that as you're adopting these new cameras, you're aware that they will not fit with the older mounts, although these new mounts are actually backward compatible with the older cameras. And part of the new mounts, we have two new additions, and that's the circle junction box, and this umbrella pendant cap that will shield the fish eyes from the rain and snow. Hopefully this has been useful if you do have any other questions, do drop them in the comments and I'll come back to you as soon as I can.